What was that story? What was it like for you writing a book? It was emotional. There was times that I was writing and typing and crying at the same time, um, which is good. I even did my I did I did my own audible, and even while I'm doing the audible, I'm you can tell my voice I'm getting choked up. Yeah, talking about certain parts of my early earlier days, um, especially when it comes to my mother, because I put her through the ringer and my son. Those are the ones that get me choked up. But this is the thing that I found, and I've heard a lot of people. I'm I'm studying to do a TED talk now, and I we do these group calls with uh, an organization that I'm with. And a lot of people really struggle talking about their past. And what I found is that I don't struggle very much talking about my past anymore because I talk about my past. Because you're so open with it too. You seem to accept everything that happened. And when I can help someone else by me sharing my past, my past, it's almost like, I don't know, somebody quoted, you know, let my story, you know, be your, what's it called? Your, your survival guide. Mm -hmm. And, and so the more I talk about it, the less power it has over me. And the more I talk about it, the less power. So I've been talking about my story in recovery for a long time. Now, this is the first time I've ever been talking about it out loud. In fact, my husband and I just had a conversation because my book just launched mm-hmm. and the Audible's out and and he read it. And I mean, I get like I work for InventRate. I own a business. He's the mayor. What are people going to think when they read this, when they read about me working in an adult bookstore, when they, you know, listen to a podcast about I was a stripper and a prostitute and a call girl and, you know, all the things I did, you know, what are they going to think? And I just said, you know what? I don't give a shit anymore. I don't mm-hmm. care. Everybody has, clo- everybody has skeletons in their closet. I'm living my life out loud. This is who I am. This is what I was. This is who I was. That is not who I am anymore. These are what happened. to. This is the stuff that happened to me, but it's not happening today. And I know everything that happened to me in the past didn't happen to me. This is how I look at it. It happened for me. 